will the body language be between the Senate majority leader and his Republicans in the Senate? Is the relationship forever broken? They're in for a pretty rough and awkward day to day. They have their weekly members' lunch uh, Tuesday afternoon, and I think it's going to be a pretty tense environment. You've got Senator Ron Johnson, who's basically accusing the majority leader of lying to him. Uh, you've got Mike Lee and surprisingly Jerry Moran, who bailed on this re repeal and replace effort. I think McConnell's got no choice now but to pivot over to a pure repeal, a repeal bill, which was his first choice all along. That's the policy that the uh, Republicans were pursuing in January until President Trump came along and said, no, you've got to do repeal and replace at the same time. And that's just proven to be a bridge too far okay. for this group of Republicans. Within the heated rhetoric today all across cable TV and all that, it's going to be repeal and replace, repeal and replace. I like like Kevin Cirilli's idea that this is delay and replace. We're really repealing nothing, are we? Uh, yeah, the new bill they're, they're going to consider is one that just basically sunsets the bill over two years. But the old bill was really just, I mean, a, a lot of conservatives had criticized it as Obamacare light. I think this really shows that once an entitlement is in place, it can be very, very hard to pull back. And the repeal and replace <laughs> bill was actually probably the most conservative bill that's ever come before this Congress because of the fact that it actually was going to take away a Medicaid benefit, which is something that has really never happened in the right. history of Congress before. Well, okay, we go back to LBJ and the Great Society. What's the likelihood of us ripping apart uh, President Johnson's Great Society? Very small. I mean, I think, there, you know, you've got entitlement benefits. They're called entitlements for a reason. People feel entitled to collect them. And I think that Congress has a really hard time taking care of them. You know, there's this big myth in Washington about the grand bargain where Republicans would get entitlement cuts and Democrats could get some tax increases. <clears throat> but the reality is neither party really wants to cut entitlements. It is politically toxic to attempt to do so. And I think you're seeing that play out now in this repeal and replace bill.